Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis for our Philippines campaign. Now, if you remember our last episode, we had quite a fun time beating the snot out of our, uh, our targets. We have managed to take most of the lower third of Japan here. Uh, we've got the, the, the southern two home islands and at least half of the main one here. Uh, we gave, gave quite a chunk of it to our buddy Kikuchi, which gives us a nice vassal here to further smack around Japan, at least until they get nailed, uh, covered by the Ming Shield temporarily. And in the southern area, the Malay Peninsula here, we ate Kada because Malacca is being a very good vassal, and they managed to, uh, to take most of it on. Uh, by which I mean, of course, they, uh, <laughs> they, they cord it. So, we put, uh, we gave, we decided that, uh, they can handle it there. Excuse me. And so, that also only puts us about 6,000 in the red, as far as manpower goes. So, we're doing pretty well. We've got, uh, three colonies going. I might end up doing the fourth, because we're making enough that we might even be able to do a colony... A little bit free and finally start doing some of the home islands but before we begin the festivities for now let me address a couple of things first off I know that uh, the uh, the schedule of the last couple of weeks has been kind of wonky I mean I did I did warn you I did warn everybody uh, that I'm still in the middle of a move and uh, but that move is almost over we're down to a last about the last few bits uh, uh, if anything, within the la by the end of the 31st, then we'll be completely done, you know, no matter what. <laughs> uh, so that should actually allow things to get a little bit more stable as I focus on post-moving projects, you know, like unpacking and, and uh, getting laundry completely finished, that sort of thing. But that, that will allow a lot more time in order to record. So that'll be good to look forward to. I mean, we are only in 1586. We've got about... A good, hmm, almost 300 years ago. I was about 250. So, you know, that's fun. And second, for those of you paying attention, the last two uh, developer diaries, as we uh, dial over here to the English Channel, have been quite illuminating for their plans for 125 and beyond. Um, it looks like, from what I'm seeing, they're going to do two interesting things that will definitely have a fun uh, tweak in the future. The first being they're planning on revamping the missions. No longer will we have only three missions at a time. Apparently, they're going to unlock the whole mission tree. Certain ones we'll, we'll, we'll be able to do because they're going to go down a path. Um, but those are largely country slash culture based. Uh, while other ones, like the usual, colonize this, conquer that, that kind of thing, should be just kind of there. So that'll be kind of fun. Uh, a little bit of uh, Crusader Kings 2, uh, EU3 kind of uh, missioning. The other thing that's actually kind of interesting is what they're going to do for the the, uh, the British Isles and the Low Countries. Uh, first, it looks like they're splitting Ireland up into a few more. I think it's what, 13 counties total, including Pale. So that'll be fun uh, to, to, to further uh, mess with the Irish thing. It's, it seems like some of them are going to be vassals of each other as they fight against the Brits, that kind of thing. What's also interesting is they're going to be splitting up a few of these uh, British, uh, British counties, including some of the Welsh ones. Most interesting is they're going to split Isle of Man here. I've always kind of said that with Isle of Man being as kind of culturally important in British history that they should have their own county. And it looks like they're going to be giving the Manx their, their day in the sun, as it were, splitting them off here from Cumbria, going to be their own uh, their own province. I, I don't know how big it's going to be. Probably not too big. I mean, it's just, you know, kind of a, a tiny island in the middle of the Irish Sea. But what's also going to be interesting is they're going to give them their own culture base. Uh, they're not going to be a starting country. They are going to be part of Britain. But like Wales they're going to have separatists and a culture, meaning there could be an interesting uh, try to do an Isle of Man campaign. Uh, I would have to split them off forcibly 
uh, either through the uh, release vassal and continue from there or go in you know pluck the, the culture out like I did with whales but that could be fun especially with the splitting up of whales it looks like they're also gonna be uh, upping a little bit of the low countries giving uh, Leatherlands even more of an economic boost so that will be kind of fun I, I kind of might I might want to do uh, a run like that maybe even do a sort of take two on my Welsh campaign now that the Wel uh, Welsh are gonna have a little bit more of an economic base and some strength behind them, um, even though if we still have to split them off from England, we'll see. I do look. Uh, uh, give me a give me a ping. I know that obviously the Filipino campaign has brought me a wealth of new subscribers, and I thank you all very much. So I do want to take your suggestions in mind. I mean. What would you like to see me do next? I do I do typically tend to uh, to to chase whoever the dominant culture of the next patch is, unless I've really kind of done them recently. Which is, you know, like for instance, I'm doing the Filipino patch, even though the Japan uh, did, but I already did a Japanese thing, you know, that kind of thing. But give me a ping. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you want to see me run. Um, especially once uh, a buck twenty-five drops, and uh, we'll see about that. Obviously, a buck twenty-five is going to be the next big patch. So that's probably going to be a uh, an actual DLC since Japan was the the freebie. So that'll probably end up that'll, they'll probably throw the the missions in with that. That way you get that whole value for your DLC. Who knows? Maybe they'll make it a Brit a British Isles quote immersion pack because they said that they're they're going to keep doing the immersion packs uh, for the ten bucks and that, that could be kind of cool. But let's get back to where we were. First off, first off, let's let's take a moment of the Philippines having colonized and tried to vassalize some of Japan. Let's drink in that, that delicious, delicious historical irony, hmm? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got a three-year, sorry, let's try that again there, numb nuts. A 11-year truce with them. Uh, we don't have a truce with Kadai. They're probably going to be next. I'm sorry, Kutai. That was Kadai. So let's get... Let's get let's get these guys moving, and we'll probably squat here in Brow. Start drilling. Let that... Uh, let that go. Go on. No, no. Japan did Awa. Okay, so let's pull somebody back. Oh, let's pull them back from Kodiak. Let's recall the guy, because Kodiak... You know, even if they have people break out, that's not going to murder people. And we'll throw the new guy in. To, I think we've got... Ah, yes. A colonize Leyte uh, mission. So we will do that. We'll finally get that going. We'll send... In fact, we'll even send a couple guys. We'll send a couple guys there to just sort of chill out. Let's dump them all here in Barao. And by the time we get everything finished, we should be able to have those two we can send into Leyte. Not that the Goman did dumb. Okay, in the meantime, let's drill here. We're going to keep these guys here because it looks like... Oh, good. A conversion happened. I'm like Jesselton into Animus. Okay, so we can't claim Bali, but we still have that thing to go for Makassar, so we're not worrying too much about Majit P. Like I said, I think Kutai is our next target on the old hit parade. We'll see if we can get that finished, or at least started by the end of the episode. Because that'd be nice. We've got some Separatists in Japan. Half the Mahrima, half are in Bizen, and a couple of Korean Separatists. They're going away. Okay. Everyone else is just chill, Max and relaxing, playing the beat ball outside of school. And what we also, I think, we need to do is, being that the entire title of this was always the pirates, we need to put some more naval power in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it to a couple of big boats. We're gonna do some caravels to get the old trading going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. We'll get another ten stack of that, and then probably throw some galleys in. Yeah. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we'll get eight galleys going. Those will go with the two big boats and then the bunch of uh, miners. And then we'll start trying to see if we can throw some naval weight around. Uh, we should be able to actually handle almost anybody except for Ming at that point. And that's just fine. Okay. You guys start rocking out. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take two here. You guys are going to go show up in Leyte. And then you guys are going to go here. And everyone's just going to party. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Okay. So with that, that rip roaring party, we're going to start doing some drilling because we kind of need to. We haven't done drilling in a while. We need a drilling like a villain. You know, all that sort of fun stuff. Oh, say, we're making quite a bank, even with our extra colony, because it only brings us down to 10. We could almost, uh, I'd say we'd almost think about doing another one, but I think that would put us at 16, and we can't do that. Let's see. Oh, oh no. We already had people showing up. Man, they got aggressive fast. Good thing we uh, actually dropped uh, people there. Otherwise, we might have wasted time and money. That would have been a problem. Oh, say. Well, sorry if you hear thumping in the background. My cat has had some weird separation anxiety from Daddy since the move. So he's uh, a little bit of a special pudding head. Probably not enough that you can hear it. And it's not like I want to torture the cat. It's just, I don't know what the heck's going on with him. Oh well. Let's make some cash, shall we? Okay, so we got that going. That'll bring us almost a full thing there. Let's, let's, uh, hey, sweet. Two ties, the dumb naval units. Ah, here we go. Let's see. Uh, no, we don't want outraged countries because those are dumb. We'll do out. Yeah, there we go. Um, and just while we're doing that, let's put another claim in just in case because we want to build up some manpower so we don't end up getting stomped. Kutai is not that big, but I think they got 15. Yeah, they got 13, max 15. So even if we pull the guys from Japan, I mean, if we pull, that's it. If we pull the guys from Japan down, we'll be able to handle it, but uh, we need them to... To handle the old uh, rebels. The rebel scum. So, you know. There's that. So really, it's just kind of waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for the manpower. Hmm. Yeah, there's some, so there's some separatists happening. Uh, I think we'll pull the drilling off in a little bit. Only 80%. Oh. Oh boy! Brandenburg is now the emperor. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so Britain's done Britain. Mm, you know, Spain's here. I think we've looked here. Uh, looks like Brandenburg is, is rapidly becoming Prussia because now they're the emperor. Eh, it doesn't look like anything too wacky. I guess we'll just throw 33 points away. Nothing too wacky except for Sweden being separate. And they're an ally with Poland and Russia. Russia's getting closer. You can see that green right there. They're, they're coming in. Huh, interesting. Yaren, East Siberia. I wonder if you guys... Nope, still Ming Shield. And you got... Everyone's, everyone's just doing things. Fortune's Ming, Ming Shield. Ooh, Ayataya's not Ming Shield. That might be something to think about. That might be something we think about. Because that might not be too bad in order to just, you know, deal with. Uh, how are you guys? Okay, you're probably not on fire. Blah, blee, blue, blah. Blah, blee, blue, blah. Blah, blee, blue, blah. 
Well, in that case, the truce of Divyet's quieted down. These guys are almost done. Hey, we've got another point. We've got a point in maneuver, which actually makes him a two star. <laughs> nice. Good for you, Pahar. Hey, we get a hundred free in late day already. Good for you. Good for everybody. <laughs> Ooh, we're starting to get some of our eggs are okay. Trying to get all of our boats. Okay. Maja Pete's doing stupid. That's fine. Now let's have all our boats just to show up here. We gotta split out who's doing what. So I know half these are galleys and half these are lights. Italia's doing stupid. I think that's everybody. Leite, whatever. Okay, we got 18 ships there. I think that's yep, that's everybody. Okay, so we got 10 10 lights and eight galleys. So let's go out and do some trading. I can get some cash. California, ha, nice. Uh, Girin, so that's uh, Korea. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Malacca is back up to buck oh five. We have the Malacca's. What happened there? Whatever. 33. Zanzibar with the Zanzibar variants. Sure, why not? Actually, let's see what that does. Do, 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 trade. Does Zanzibar send... They send it to the Cape of Good Hope, which we don't have anybody there yet. Okay, so... Actually, you guys... No. Cancel mission. Protect trade. How about... We'll do a Canton. We'll do a Canton. There we go. That'll actually make money for us, as opposed to just going... Derp! I think we've got a claim there. Yes. Yes, Korea. Do things. You can do that all you want. We don't care, but whatever. Okay. For three k, so we're getting close to firing against them. Kind of want. You know what? It'd be nice. In fact, that's where we're gonna move off. It's nice if one of these guys fired off first, so we could then bring the them down. In fact, let's take them. We can't take them off. Darn. We can't take them off. We can't make a mistake. Boo. Yeah, that's going to happen. I gotta love them when they give you those those missions to do something that's going to happen in about a little bit. Excuse me. In a little bit anyway, right? Hey, by Zen, would you like fire off for us? That'd be great. <laughs> Okay, so you're still drilling. You've got people there. Oh, thank you. Perfect. We'll drop you right on your 11k, and then hopefully you guys will fire. Oh, they got enough manpower to soak that as long as we don't dip too far down. Come on! This is the too far down we were talking about, you know. Sigh. <laughs> 2k, that's fine. Because what we're going to do is just we're going to pull those guys down anyway. Just send those galleys to hang out. Doop, 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 that cannot come on, Yamana. What can I do to tick you off? It'd be nice to be fired off. Okay, Diplo reps. Global trade power, piss off the nobility. You know what? Sure, why not? We'll make the merchants happy. Hey! There's an 80%! Come on, keep doing it. Come on, big money, big money. Alright, we'll 
and these cogs go off there. Oh no! All of your 300... How are you getting a thousand people? There's only 300 natives on the entire bloody province. <sighs> Which means you won't actually do much damage. It's just funny. Hey, hey, actually... I know how we can tick them off. Oh no! Who are you? You are Harima, right? Harima, there we go! That'll tick them off. That always takes them off. In fact, let's just have a park now. Oh, yeah. Now they'll fire off. They'll fire off, but good. We could take ten there and go go down, down in Kutai. Start that little war. Oh, see? You had so much that you even died from attrition. So, whatever. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's the plan. We're going to knuckle under Kutai. With their 15k, we might even be able to completely flatten them out as we get kind of drunk. Uh, I think we got enough that we can claim that. So now we have three claims on them. I think we're going to... Ugh. We don't want to lose legitimacy. We finally got it back to 90. And this is a... Dude, he's got an air almost... Well, he was really productive. <laughs> Alright, what we can do? We can lose five prestige. So lose 15 legitimacy or just five prestige. I think that's fine. Ooh, are our big boats ready? Yay, big boats! Uh-huh, no one cares to have yet. Okay, so if you're putting in claims, does that mean we can start putting in claims? Yeah, if you weren't Ming shielded. Ah. Boo. The dirty, dirty Ming shield. Come on, guys. Okay, so there's our big boats there. We've got three big boats and... Wait, how do we have a couple light ships? You know what? We'll keep the light ships there because eh, we need a couple of light ships in there anyway. We've got enough trading. Oh man, is everybody firing off this week? <sighs> you only have 500. Hopefully, attrition hits you. And if not, then oh well, you won't do that much damage. See, you guys are fine. Come on, Yamana. Come on. You know you want to piss off. You know you want to fire off. All you're doing is helping build up more, uh, dudes. Oh no! Swan Ham only lost 50 people! Oh well. <laughs> hey, wasn't that the guy we pulled our... No? We must pull the fat Kodiak. Yeah. How's your little uh, siege doing? Oh, you're dying. Okay. Come on! On. Fire off! I don't want to whine anymore! <laughs> okay, if you go to buy Zen, will you fire off? Will you be good little jerks and fire off? Huh? Huh? Oh well. Oh, in the meantime, let's add to that army. have no cannon. Oops. Establish colonial nation in Australia. Well, we're kind of getting there, so we'll put a pin in that one. And we're already got two of the five. Well, two, two. One complete, one started. So that does prove that when we do this, it will count as a colonial nation for us. Oh no, they did it again. Oh no, they died horribly. <laughs> 
see, see Japanese? Those guys can do it. Why can't you? Come on, you know you want to fire off. Be nice. Be patronizing. Ugh, this episode is getting a little bit long and it's a little bit waiting for... Come on! Come on! Come on! Not really a way to piss them off, either. Okay, well, Kutai is doing dumb. They must have found our dudes. No, they didn't. Hmm. You gotta love this. You're waiting... You know, it's like the time that you actually want them to fire off. It's when they're like... We're good. Have fun. Ooh, we're getting close to idea group 10. We'll finally put in a military. Since we are tech 13, which actually puts us at equal to Ming, so we can afford to, to, to waste that a little bit. <sighs> Come on. It would be really nice if you decided to fire off right now. Twenty-one. Oh, we can do that. There we go. I can't even like tick you off any further. We're already converting you, which is ir it'll be ironic if you can finish converting before you're ready to fire. We need these guys. Come on, cooperate. Cooperate. All right. Well, okay, here, we'll put a pin in here, because the episode's getting a bit long, and, uh, hey, we've got plenty of manpower to both soak that and for them to fire off. Jen Shao. Oh, nice. Korea's getting big again, which makes it perfect for us to eat. Delicious. Okay. Um. Ooh, new tech. There we go. Delicious. New admin 10. Come on. No. Okay. Well, we'll make this idea in the next episode. We'll, we'll come back here and go, okay, which military do we want to beat up? Anything but naval. I mean, naval would be good considering the thing, but uh, you know what? Def let's go with offensive, because that's shock plus discipline plus land force. Yeah. And we'll take one. Just one. We don't want to completely blow our thing, but we will at least get that nice land leader shock pip. All right. So that's what we're going to end on. Uh, next episode, we will go smack around Kutai, probably grab them all. Uh, as soon as these Yamana Separatists fire off, because they're too close for us to even like think about now. That the moment we go away is the moment they'll fire, and we just don't need that. I mean, Kikuchi is drilling, so they won't be able to do anything. And Anyway, so we've got that to look forward to next episode. And then, with the war on Kutai, we will finish them off. And then maybe, finally, we'll start getting ready to go to Majapit. Maybe Pasai. We'll see. But, I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.